Ooh, public health is full of ethical issues. I feel like there's not a day that goes by where I'm not looking at an ethical issue in relation to my public health work. And it's because the nature of public health work is complex and often intersects with individual lives in a way that has us have to look at the ethics of what that intersection creates. You know, as a small example, what I would often say to public health nurses dealing with frontline, for example, E. coli case is, in as much as we have uh, a requirement to protect the public, our ethical principle that we're adhering to first might be around that. And so we'll take measures like excluding uh, an individual or a child for example, from daycare, if they've got E. coli. The challenge is uh, that that creates a whole other setup for that family that we also have to be aware of. So that child is no longer in daycare, which means somebody has to be looking after the child. It may mean that the parents can't go to work. That may have an impact on their, uh, their income uh, for the week or for the month or maybe even for the year, depending on how long that child is in ex uh, exclusion. And so we really do have to think about that in the background as we're playing out sort of our ethical decision making. That's one example. You know, another example that comes to mind for me uh, is post-SARS, and I had the experience of being a resident uh, in public health and preventive medicine in Ontario during the SARS outbreak. And what was interesting about that in the aftermath was all of the, you know, sort of academic discussions that happened across the country about the ethics of, for example, quarantine uh, during SARS where we quarantined lots of people uh, in Ontario during that outbreak, very few of them, uh, if any, actually became ill with SARS. And so you run into all kinds of ethical questions then about what do you do for those folks who maybe were quarantined for 10 days, lost their jobs as a result of that quarantine because their employer said to them, you know, so let's get this straight. You don't have the disease, you may not get the disease, but you're not coming to work for 10 days anyway. Well, I'm moving on to somebody else then, your position is gone. That type of uh, thing we're aware of when we're practicing public health, but we still have to do the things that we think best protect the public, which is what happened during SARS. So there's all kinds of ways in which public health is a very sort of ethics-laden uh, practice of medicine because of the complexities of it. Mm -hmm.